Hello YouTube, my name is NVXRP and today we'll be talking about um, whether you whether or not you should buy Fallout 76 and, and this is no means a professional review in any way because this is just my opinion. Um, I've only been playing the game for a little bit now, um, well quite a bit actually, but you know everyone will have their own opinion about the game. I haven't played many of the other Fallout games so to me this game is either worse or better than other people's opinions if you're more of a diehard Fallout fan. Um, also, thank you so much for the amount of views I've been getting recently, especially on my lag video and all my other videos. I am very grateful for that, and if you like what you're watching, subscribe. I mean, it's only one button to click. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so just recently Bethesda released this. Um, it's an article talking about what they're going to be updating and making uh, in the in the upcoming months in the end of the 2018 and what is to be expected in 2019 and I'll, I'll just leave it here for a second if you want to read it you could also probably look it up yourself on uh, on Google or the Bethesda launcher um, but they do have quite a bit of interesting things that are coming soon like um, FOV um, customizability stash limit which I will talk about later um, I'm looking forward to some of the stuff they're going to be patching for like smoothness um, I think, what do they call it? Um, I don't know, like ease of life for PC. Maybe you'll probably find it in there somewhere. But um, And then I also read their launch letter, and it talked about how they're going to be opening up new vaults and stuff, which uh, I hope leads to some more content for the game. Because um, as of now, many people are saying that's pretty static and stale. I do disagree with that, because I haven't played many of the other Fallout games. So I'm not like fully expecting all the NPCs and stuff. Um, I'm not sure why they didn't add NPCs into the game. It would make sense if they did, because they do have robots, which are pretty much NPCs. They just don't have any people NPCs, um, which is confusing. Uh, but they're going to bring in faction-based PvP. Um, and I like the free add-ons, because then it won't make the game pay, pay to play kind of deal. I mean, you do have to pay to play, but you know you don't have to break your bank to to be able to play the game with all the full content so I am looking forward to that um, they do um, they do have a lot of a lot of stuff they're expecting to bring into the game which I'm looking forward to and I mean if they can make it work it's gonna be a good game alright so first things first I'm gonna talk about some of the building critiques I have for this game um, one being that the fences don't really ever line up and they're pretty hard to figure out a placing for. I mean, especially, you can tell here, they don't really do much, um, but that's more of a balancing thing. But yeah, this is... I had to, like, straggle with this for about 10 minutes to get it all to work, and then over here I just kind of gave up, as you can obviously tell. Um, another thing I have um, as a complaint is, I mean, it is a pretty decently sized building area, but at the same time, it's it's nothing nothing amazing. Um, so that, that's just another thing I was thinking about here. Um, and this is just my opinion, so you can disagree if you want. I'm going to start off with the negative, and then I'll go to the positive. Another big negative for me, and this is something that they said they would fix, but if you go into your stash here, it can only hold 400, um, so, or 400 weight, which I filled it up like three times. And I built two, because I didn't, I didn't know how that worked. Um, and I do understand the reason why, if you read one of their um, little things that they posted about it, they don't want to lag out the game with too many items, and I understand that, but at the same time, it would be nice to get an upgrade to the amount of storage you can have so you don't have to throw away stuff that you would normally want to keep. Uh, one big plus for me is the crafting in this game. Um, some people said they don't like it. I like it personally because it makes you work for your guns. Um, one thing being... Uh, people, no, oh, hold on. Uh, people, people think that you can't modify your guns. I saw this in one video, so maybe it's not like everyone's opinion, but um, you know, you have to, you have to scrap guns to get upgrades, and I feel like that is a fair way of doing things. I think Fallout 4 was not like that in any way. I think you just had all the mods there, so I feel like that kind of balances it out and um, makes it so that you don't get everything right off the bat, but. Going back to the negatives here, if I pull out my... I don't even have to pull... What did I just put on? Uh, I think I accidentally activated something. If I were to um, 
let's say go into apparel for this. Yeah, there's level systems. See, I mean, you have to be level 30 to access any of your power armor, which does suck, and I'm not a big fan of that at all whatsoever. I mean, I don't know. You, you, it, it just kind of prevents you from progressing in the game that much. Um, and, like, you have to use be a certain level for all these guns and such. So that just kind of is a pretty big negative for the game. Another negative is PvP, because if I were to shoot that person, which I won't, because I don't want to actually get in a fight right now, well, you know what, I will, just to just to test it out. Bang. Alright, let's see what happens as he fight back. Alright, oh, he does. Kabang. Alright, let's see this. Let's bring out my pistol here. Alright. He is not getting away. Maybe he is. He can run. I can't. I'm over encumbered. I'm doing no damage to him. Why is that? Alright. He's healing probably. Uh oh. Well, this is where I go down. Let's bring him back to my turrets here. Um, see, you don't do full damage if you shoot them. Alright, is he not taking any damage to this? I don't know. Yeah, alright. So, the PvP system is fun, but, you know, if I shoot him, and then... I'm just going to give up here. Uh, see, I shoot him... And what happens is I don't do full damage, but when he shoots me back, he does do full damage. Which kind of sucks, because then he has the upper hand, unless I use a stim pack. Which, in that case, I didn't. Um, because I wasn't thinking. Um, I was just, I don't know, I just did that for fun. But, you know, that just kind of proves my point there. The PvP is a little bit mixed up, and I do know what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it so that you just can't go around destroying people and everything like that and um, if I had more ammo I'd probably win that fight but you know PvP is both good and bad depends on uh, how you view it alright um, another another not so positive thing is uh, the lack of NPCs in this game and I think that they didn't include them purely because they were other players in the game that you could interact with but um, I don't know, when it comes down to it, I'd much rather have NPCs than other people, although both is, uh, is nice, you know, um, and I, I think that in the future they should add that, I mean, if everyone's asking for it, I would imagine, um, I would imagine that would happen, right, but, is it, is my turret shooting me? My own turret shooting me. Alright, so... I'm sorry, what is this all about? Alright, yeah, okay. So, there's a lag lag issue right there. Um, that's something I dislike about this game, is, is that. But I think those will be fixed sometime, maybe. I'm hoping. They don't do any damage, which is nice. Um, but moving away from the bad stuff, something I do like about this game is that it is multiplayer, um, which is nice. You can play with your friends, which is something new in the Fallout series. And uh, the graphics, I, I really do like the graphics, although, um, I don't know, I mean, I, I just really can't find anything bad about them. You know, it's, it's similar to Fallout 4, probably better, um, and I'm guessing that they can only improve as the game goes on, you know. So, you know, I, that's, I, I do like that. They put a lot of time and effort into this game. One final statement I have here is just the sheer size of the map. It, it's just... You, you can't get any bigger than this. I mean, well, you could if you really wanted to, but you get the point. Like, it's just, it is a monstrously sized map. There's plenty to do. Although, the quest line for this map is a little bit boring, in a sense, because you just have to listen to stuff. And I do get where people are coming from with that, because, oh, there we go again. Because they do want um, interaction to get into the story and, like, feel the characters and all the emotions and stuff. And, I mean, I think that'd be pretty cool to have in the game, um, but, 
I don't know. We'll we'll have to see with the up and coming updates, and I'll cover all the updates when they come out. I mean, this this previous update was just bug fixes, and um, I think just like fixing some of the lags and stuff like that. So it wasn't really worth going over. I might put a clip, or I might put um put the list in in the end of this video here. But uh, you know, overall, I would recommend you buy Fallout um, purely because it is a Fallout game. If you like Fallout, I would recommend it to you. But also because it's just a good game. All it's everything in this game feels like a Fallout, um, and fa a Fallout, yeah, a singular Fallout. Um, but you know, there's there's plenty to do. I mean, I can spend hours on a single quest, and I mean, sure, there's no NPCs, and there's a couple problems, but they'll be worked out. I I have faith in Bethesda, and I feel they will um, they will work out those problems. So, you know, I mean, it's the true the the final decision's up to you, but if it were up to me, I'd, I'd buy the game again, you know. So, you know, that's just my opinion. And for those of you that want to see this um, update, I'm just going to try and make it a little bit bigger here. Does this work? It does, and not really at all. Um, so for those of you who want to see this, uh, it's just different patch numbers for every console that it's on. See, it does, it does increase performance, um, stability, some Xbox stuff on the main menu. They do fix some of the graphics, um, as in just a single magazine fix, which is weird. Um, they, you know, they're they're slowly getting there. They're fixing some stuff. They have enemies. They have ghouls that drop drop new codes. Um, looks like they're fixing some blueprint stuff and plans, and uh, power armor wise, and repairs. Um, not sure if that's a new quest. I I haven't done that yet, or I don't think I've done that yet. And then there's just some stuff they fixed with PvP. Um, I think that was all in the game before. I'm not sure. Because I did seek revenge on another person. And that did work. Um, and then they got some uh, more languages. For Koreans. And stuff like that. So, you know, they're 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 like avidly updating the game. Um, and then I'll show you this. If, if it'll load enough here. But, uh, yeah. They're, they're pretty active as of now. I'm not sure... Not sure how long they're going to be active, and I don't don't take that in like a, a negative way. Just 67, because why not? No one ever cares. They're just pictures. Um, but you know, I mean, th there's there's plenty of content that they're they're planning for, and they've already released. You know, so um, I mean, like look at this. They got uh, vault opening, care respect, character respecting. Uh, faction-based PvP, and much more. So they do have plans for the future. I'm looking forward to seeing what they got. And, um, you know, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.